Hello everyone and welcome back. This is step five in building your rainwater harvesting system. In this video I'll show you how I connected the tanks and how I vented the tanks. First I'd like to address a common question that I've been receiving and that's how does the water get into all the tanks when you see that this this main pipe here there's only it's only flowing into this first tank and so a few people wonder how does it fill the rest of the tanks the answer to that is when all the water enters this first tank um, it then travels through this pipe here and it will then fill all the other tanks equally at the same time so if if the water level is uh, let's say half full in this first tank it will be half full in this tank as well and in that tank as well and then it'll all go down together as well so it'll rise and fall together now you may wonder like what happens if I get a lot of water all at one time in a very heavy rain maybe temporarily this first tank will have a little bit more water while it's pushing all the water to the other tanks and filling the other tanks up um, so only temporarily ever will there, will, will there be um, more water in this first tank only in a heavy rain right when I'm getting a, a lot of rain at one time okay what you see here is just a, a mock setup that I have um, really just just to show you uh, one piece that you can't see um, it's kind of hidden that's this piece here that's just a small about two inch um, PVC piece and this is all two inch PVC as well so I use just this small piece here to connect uh, so this small piece here is slipping into this PVC piece here if you have not watched my video over the adapters you'll need to watch the video over the adapters that will explain these pieces here other than this uh, valve I have right here everything is basically the same uh, from here all the way to the end and then on the end I have a garden hose connection uh, so what I show you right here is what you'll use to connect every tank so here I have my proper adapter and PVC piece here again watch um, I think I believe it's step uh, two adapters to know more about these and then from there I've connected a uh, two inch PVC T and notice I have the water flowing this way because that's where I have my garden hose uh, connection and that's where I want my pressure to be routed like I showed you earlier that uh, small PVC piece this piece here this piece is right here you can't see it because it is uh, flush in there from there I have it's, this is about an 18 inch uh, 2 inch PVC piece here that leads to a union this is a threaded union and connected to that union is a uh, 2 inch uh, PVC let's see that is it is a female slip to a male threaded to uh, PVC piece and I use threaded in, in case I want to cut anything off ever or if I mess up anything or for any reason I need to change anything I don't want to have to mess up my union and by inserting a slip like here where I, I glue it in um, then I don't have the ability to pull that piece out so I want the ability to move my unions around if I ever wanted to that's why I use threaded here basically what a union is is it's just a it's a piece that allows you to uh, split it and it is a union it will go back together so this allows me to remove my tanks if need be There you go, that's how you can remove a union quickly and by doing this now your tanks aren't bound together and easy to uh, relocate them or change anything if need be. Okay now once I got the union back together um, in order to do this I had to turn off uh, the valve to each tank so I've turned off this valve here so I'll need to turn them back on and then there will be water back in the pipe now you can see 
I've done the same thing going down the entire system, just connecting all the tanks together. You see, when we get to this last tank now, it did not require an adapter. Uh, rather, I, this is, I do call this an adapter on uh, step two, uh, but this is just a uh, two inch uh, PVC threaded, to uh, female threaded to uh, female slip. From there, this is just a short uh, two inch PVC pipe here connecting to another PVCT. And then here on the end, I have a, a three quarter inch PVC ball valve, a garden hose connection here. And then I'm not sure exactly if I did all this correct, but um, if this is properly done, if this is how a plumber would do it, I'm not sure at all, but this works for me. Uh, this is a three quarter, this is a reducer down from two inches to three quarter inch a PVC piece. A small, then there's a small three quarter inch uh, PVC piece here, maybe it's about an inch, two inches long, uh, probably rather about two inches long right here, connecting this um, this PVC adapter to the um, ball valve here. One thing I would like to mention about um, the PVC uh, parts that I used for this, uh, these are all, these aren't, these pieces are not for a pressurized uh, pipe or pressurized unit. Uh, this is just for like just plumbing just for flowing water uh, the difference is they're much cheaper probably about half the cost at, of a um, a PVCT that's for a pressurized system okay and on this side if you can tell on the other side now was the garden hose adapter on this side I have a dump valve this is a two inch PVC valve it's threaded on both sides as well uh, this is not needed. I just happen to have it, and so I decided to put it on there because I wasn't using it anyway. But you you can, if you'd like, to just put a cap here, and you, you wouldn't have a problem uh, with any of that. Or actually, you could uh, use a 90 right here instead of a T, and you would never have to worry about that. Okay, one question that I've had asked a lot on the comment section is how do I vent the tanks? Where does all the air go when the water's uh, pouring into the tanks? the air must go somewhere or else it won't allow the water to pour into the tanks uh, so in order to vent these tanks all I do is loosen this top lid if I am to right now what I'm doing is I'm tightening this lid all the way down so this is as tight as the lid goes all I do is this about one two about, it's about three half turns and you can see this this lid is a little loose but yet it's not going to come off it's com it's completely on enough that nothing is pulling this off uh, but this will allow the air to um, come go in and out of the tank if need be and that's how I vent the tanks um, now if you plan on stacking your tanks there will I don't have an example of how you would do that but it would be different you would need your um, your air escape to be above your water level so obviously your air escape then would be above the second tank um, I'm sure if you there's a few of these on YouTube, uh, people that do the IBC totes. Uh, people that have put a video up of their IBC tote uh, rainwater harvesting system. And actually, I've seen some with double stack tanks. I'm sure they have a video. So if you're double stacking your tanks, just do a little more searching. I'm sure you'll find it pretty easily. One thing I forgot to mention when venting your tanks, uh, I've only showed me venting this one and loosening this lid. However, you'll need to do this on each tank that you have, um, not just this one tank. So just to be clear, vent every single tank.